and that's okay. Fine. <laughs> Looks like we'll get the job done. All right. Hey, we are live, and with live comes mistakes. Tim, you're fired. And so, no. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us live. We are starting uh, a new little. Uh, I don't know how long we're going to go for as many episodes as you guys want us to go and as we feel like going. But basically what we're doing is uh, Evan found this really cool game called Broken Compass. It's an RPG. We talked about it a little bit last week or two weeks ago, and uh, I ran through a little bit of a player creation and uh, we decided to get an entire party together. Uh, Evan's going to be our fortune master. I believe that's what it's called in, in Broken Compass. Correct. And uh, the rest of us are going to play. So I'm going to go around and introduce everybody. Of course, you know uh, Evan. Evan Bullris from the Fifth Trooper Podcast. He's going to be our fortune master, leading us through the golden age of uh, adventuring. Then we have Tim Hannon. He is part of the Notorious Hello. Scoundrels Podcast and Stabcast, uh, both Legion podcasts. Um then we have Austin Miller. He's new to the Fifth Trooper, newish, a couple months now. Uh, you can hear him on the Fifth Trooper and read his articles on the blog at thefifthtrooper.com. And then we have Nick Grammar Police Lichtenstein and Lichtenberg. He yep, is that's the one. <laughs> He is from uh, the Fifth Trooper podcast and our Sword and Board podcast, which is our Onslaught podcast. So that's that's the team. Uh, I'm going to let Evan take over from here. If you guys have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them in the chat. I'll either type them back to you or we'll try to interact with you when we have moments. But please enjoy our rendition of Broken Compass. Man, it reminds me of... Uh... Uh, Fallout 76 has this group of people who do, they recite Shakespeare. They hmm. get together, they build a stage, and they used to, I forget the name of the group, but they would go through like uh, the whole Shakespeare plays and Fallout 76 with the props and like stagecoach route, like whatever it was. Like it was really good, but just the way you ended that, like that's how they, like, they start. And it's just people on like Xbox just doing Shakespeare. Anyway, oh. cool stuff. Um, but yes, welcome to Broken Compass. Thank you. It is um, glad to be here. <laughs> glad, glad, glad to be here. Glad go, 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 It's a das good. Uh, a um, action-based uh, pen and paper system where uh, there is no failing. And what I mean by that is it's not like in Dungeons & Dragons where you roll to, to tie your shoes or roll to break through a door and then you fail and then you do it again and then you do it again and you do it again until it happens this is if you fail an action the game keeps moving it does not stop so all right if you uh if you roll to break down a door and you fail uh you might break through and on the other side are a bunch of guards eating lunch or something oh. like it's it just keeps going like there's no no stopping to like roll checks mm -hmm. um you don't bother rolling checks for simple things like if your adventure needs to jump a couple fences you just do it because you're adventurers. Like, there's a certain level of like wow. cool factor you just get to do. Yeah, this will be um, perfect for Tim because Tim always fails and he needs simple things. Wow, man! Oh, we're like oh, what, yeah, three just like minutes in, bazinga! Three minutes? Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Okay. You know what else always oh, that, fails? This just means bad <laughs> things happen to us when Tim <laughs> fails. Though. Communism always fails. You're yeah, right. yeah, um, yeah, Tim. Uh, Communism uh, always fails. So this is, this, is like, this is just what it's like not being the target like on the outside. Hey, Tim, you should come on more stuff with us. This is great. For me. <laughs> and I volunteered for this. How about that? Look at that. Yeah, you did like, yeah please. I want, to, I want to play. So it's fun. So um, the compass, Broken Compass system, uh, when you get the, the core book, it's setting is 1999. Uh, and it's, it's funny. It's like 1999 has everything. It's like you got cell phones and laptops and like. Uh, planes are pretty easy to fly and get around in and like travels pretty all over the place but cell phone reception sucks so if you don't want your players to like have it they can just not like it's it's it, not like it is now we're like not having cell phone service unless you're at uh, the Shlansky complex is rare yeah uh, it's like his house nothing I go yeah. five feet down the road signal I don't Faraday know cage like, that's yeah. what it is I, I don't want you to get out I was gonna say it's uh, like a that that Indian burial ground you're, you're yep. on top of just really blocks, uh, really blocks the signal. Um, 
So we're going to set ours in the 1930s, uh, specifically 1933, because that's the right at the end of Prohibition and right at the beginnings of the rumblings of uh, war in Europe. And I think that's fun. Um, so uh, I don't... We haven't, like, pre-made characters, so we're going to go through how to make characters. And let's get the PDF pulled up. I'm going to pull up your PDF. Oh. Then you'll Got him. Then you'll be sorry. You're so witty, Mr. J. <laughs> yeah. I, I know. You're really telling him, Jay. Thanks. You get him, boss. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> you trying to get on my good side? <laughs> I just want to... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please. All right, let me... Just let me be on me. Scoundrels again, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. No. Not after you forced choke. Yeah, not after your attitude this last week. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, forced choke is now never taken. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> is uh poopy diapers um all right so where are we at evan how you doing uh so getting there i gotta get to the page you know what i've got my physical ah, sorry. can the, you um get them steampunk glasses down maybe that'll help you know what it's funny engaged. you should say that <laughs> i got the them out because the uh uh outside is uh a hellscape right now yeah in new york it's uh uh our particle accelerator blew up yeah, pretty much. Our uh, air like particle thing there. was like at 400. Our reading and like yeah. 200 is like yeah. not good. 400 is dangerous for your health. So yeah. it burns in my eyes. So I put these down. <laughs> yeah. I look goofy as hell, but you know what? I walked into work. I was feeling pretty great. And I bet you no one at work made fun of you because everyone was like, yeah, that makes sense. Like that's. That's a sensible Aye. thing to do. <laughs> they were, but they're like, Evan is already <laughs> preparing for the apocalypse. What right. an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what a nerd. I mean, you're just one step closer to the Mad Max raccoon. We all know. Oh, Sorry. my God. Please. You just need the spray paint. Oh, so while I'm pulling up another paper, I was real close to doing that for Gen Con. Uh, no, <laughs> Adepticon. You, you knew this uh, podcast was happening tonight, right? Hey, like hey. I mean, you've known for. Do you have your sheets? You've up? No, like, yeah. What do you? I literally you built know? this entire graphic. Yeah, oh, I. Well, you built I, yeah, built I made. JPEG, Jay? Okay. Wow. <laughs> <That's> you built, <laughs> you built a JPEG. Yeah, I didn't just <laughs> called the JPEG. randomly paint two things together there, Raccoon oh, Man. Oh my god. This <laughs> is this is the real deal. Oh um, my, you know, I'm just trying to pull up the character sheet so I can walk you through. All right. Oh, Everyone, get your God sakes. Out. Man, uh, this is this is good. This was a good idea. Uh, <laughs> this was the this worst. Go wrong. We, uh, we, we had like idea. two viewers and we lost them because you just <laughs> taken so Jay, much. Jay, you, you don't count as a viewer for yourself. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh All my right. god! I told my wife to tune in, so that might be the other one. Oh. <laughs> I told my wife to love me. But, you know, hey, Austin's it's... wife. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're usually more professional than this, but we let Evan be in charge this time. <sighs> Great, great. Don't regret this. Uh, okay, uh, this is good. This is good, Jay. This is how you build retention. Yep. <laughs> yes, the berating. Uh, okay, so uh, here we go. Um, we'll go down the character sheet to explain uh, what each part of it is. Um, it looks like there's a lot going on, but it's really not too bad. So okay, the I am is where you're gonna put your name. All so. Right. Uh, whatever you call yourself. You don't have to fill it in right now because sometimes I like to name my character after I fill it out to kind of get like a vibe of what I'm going for. Sure. Um, so call me if you need a blank. And this is where you're going to pick two tags. Now, in the uh, Broken Compass uh, Golden Age book, there is a list of tags that you can take that are um, setting specific. Uh, or you can use any of the ones in the broken compass manual now what a tag is is it gives you like it's more like a uh it's, gonna like hate say it. it's more like it's like a vibe yeah it's like a uh, how you how you play your character so for example um if you take the action hero tag that gives you a point in guts and that gives you an expertise of heroism i'll get to what those are in a second and you get a point in a set of skills. So it would give you a point in fight, leadership, stunt, cool, shoot, charm, scout, and survival. Don't worry about too much of those. We'll kind of, I'll brief through those. But 
a tag I feel like a tag is like how you want your character to be like represented so like a cheater for example um his field is society and uh, he's an expertise in lies um and he gives you a bunch of skills so what the little pips mean is when you get a dot in that skill is that's how many dice you're going to roll uh for to pass or fail a scenario so for example um if you like there's different levels of threats so like a you're an adventurer so you're kind of already above par let's say you get into a uh, a drunken fight in a bar and there's three dudes and one pulls brass knuckles that's considered a basic basic fight for you because you're they're kind of drunk they got a weapon they're more than just like one nobody so how that works is uh you would roll as many dice as you have in the core stats like action guts knowledge society wild or crime and then the the, the stat underneath it so for example if you're looking at the, the character sheet with nothing on it, um, you, actions two and fight is one. So you'd roll three six-sided dice, and you're looking for pairs or straights. Not one, two, three, four, but like um, you're looking for the same numbers to show up. So to pass a basic check, if you roll three dice, you would need two of the same number. It doesn't matter if they're both ones or if they're both sixes or whatever, just as long as they're the same number. Um a critical challenge would be that'd be like maybe uh, uh, bodyguards with like a taser or something like a step up from uh, just nobody's. You need mm -hmm, to three mm -hmm, three mm -hmm. in a row or three of the same number. A um, it's not impossible, but an extreme check would be four. So that'd be like uh, armed guards with like knives, you know, like combat knives or like a handgun or something. Uh, and that'd be four of the same. And then a an impossible task. Uh, it'll start two, three, four, five, and like six is impossible. A uh, six is like a battalion of tanks or something, right? Like you, you're not meant to to be able to do it. Um, so when you're putting your stats around, think how you want your character to act, how you want them to be. Um, and it's how the game works is if you fail interestingly. So like, uh, if you get like one, two, three, four, five, six, if you rolled six dice, like. Something cool probably happens because that's pretty rare too. Uh, you don't necessarily pass, but maybe it's not that bad. Or if you get like, it's like poker. If you get like a, uh, like a, a full house, right? Like that's even if you don't succeed, maybe something good still happens because it's an interesting like role. Like it's all about like how you want things to happen. Um, but you do at need um, to pass a basic success is just one pair. It's like two ones or something. Uh, a critical success, if you don't get three in a row, uh, would be three basic successes. So, for example, if you rolled six dice and you didn't get three in a row, but you got three three pairs, that would be considered equal, wherever that works. Uh, so, just keep that in mind. But uh, So, as I go through this, think how you want your characters to like to be. Okay. So... <laughs> Oh, thanks, Jay. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Well, you uh, answered my question, Art, because I was going to say, what happens if you do something cool, but you don't fully succeed? But you answered that, so that's good. Yeah, okay. there's, like, there you go. levels. Yeah. Um, also, okay, this right. is a good point to get into that, to failure. Um, so, like, not all failure results in, like, damage or, like, something like that happening. Sometimes it's just you just don't get to do what you want, but it, it's always about just keep it going. Like, don't get stuck on a roll. Don't get stuck on a check. Um, how how you take damage because there's not like hit points here. Your luck is technically your hit points. You start with ten luck points, and uh, when you're out of luck, that's when things are bad. So, uh, for example, if an enemy, um, if it's how how combat works. Actually, I'll get into that because that'll lead into this. So, combat is enemies don't get a turn. You just do stuff. So, if you want to fight a guy, you like fist fight. You roll. If you hit, you hit them. If you fail the check, they hit you. That's it. They don't. It isn't like all right. And number three in the priority list is J. It's just like all thirty goblins don't go right. It's not like each one moves up and throws a spear. No, that's no. What kind of thirties movie is this? <laughs> yeah, no, right. <laughs> a good one maybe. Uh, um, so there could be goblins underneath the earth in the nineteen thirties. We don't know. That's true. Uh, We've not dug that deep. <laughs> 
look, it's it's elvish propaganda that you can dig too deep at all, so don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> those communist but, elves. Those communist <laughs> elves. <laughs> so how shooting works is you make a shoot check to see if you hit them or not, and that doesn't actually mean you get shot back if you fail. It means whether or not you run out of ammo. So your six-shooter pistol or whatever you want your guy to have, as long as you keep succeeding, you just keep shooting. You can have like a thousand shots in that gun as long as you just keep firing. Um, it's when you when you miss, you're out. Uh, it's like a movie, like in the old westerns and stuff. Like guys, six shooters would go forever until it was convenient plot wise for them to run out of ammo. So uh, shooting is you see if you hit, and if you uh, if you fail the check, you may still hit, but your gun's empty, run out of ammo. And then they get a shot back, and you roll a stunt check to see if you dodge out of the way. Um, that's when you can take damage. So if you fail a check, you take uh, luck points, depending on how the difference was. Once you're out of luck, that's when you get to feelings. Deep, deep feelings. Uh, so how feelings work, because it says, I feel. If you do something very cool, very, uh, very based, not cringe... Uh, for example, you um, you do like a really great. Uh, maybe you're the strong guy of the group, and you like uh, you Chris Redfield punch a boulder and it explodes. I don't know. Don't do that. I won't <laughs> let you do that. <laughs> but you know something like some you rolled like Impossible you just needed roll. a basic success, and you rolled like uh, four in a row, like one like four 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 or something. Like you had a a, a very good success on it. You may gain a boost and so you feel powerful and so anytime you make a action check whether it be fight leadership or stunt you get a free reroll and that's that's important i'll get to those in a sec uh and same thing for bleeding um if you're uh actually sorry that's not a reroll uh you get a free die because it's a pit so you get an extra die to the thing to keep to get more success now bleeding if you're bleeding shocked dizzy embarrassed broken or scared it tells you what like one of the groups it affects. So let's say you you're out of luck, and you you fail a stun check and you get shot. Uh, you don't just die; you become bleeding, uh, and bleeding means you get a negative die to do action checks. Or maybe you go to like, maybe you're the uh, the talker of the group, and you go to seduce the you're at a fancy party and you want to seduce the um, the host's wife for some information, and you roll, and you fail. It's not that the advance was unwanted, but the husband sees. And so he comes over and he slaps you and he says, you know, how dare you, sir? And so you feel embarrassed. And embarrassed means you get a negative to doing society checks until you you can resolve that. To resolve the feelings, you need to either be in a safe space. Uh, there's like safe houses and stuff you can rest in. They're rare, though. So like keep that in mind that they're not like all over the place. Uh, uh, safe areas are considered hard to find. Um or you need to get a good feeling. So like you, uh, maybe you had a really good role and you hit a really good charm. And then uh, that gets rid of, you get a, when you get a positive feeling that gets rid of a negative feeling. So you kind of like, whoop, they kind of cancel each other out. So you're back even. Um, that's, that's mostly all the damage and everything. It's pretty smooth. Um, so expertises are a little ambiguous, 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 uh, weird. So an expertise is, uh, for example, uh, expertise heroism in action hero. It's not specifically tied to a stat. It's tied to something you do. So if you do heroism, uh, maybe I, if you do something heroic and you have the expertise of heroism, I give you a bonus or a free reroll or a free die because you're acting in character. Your character is heroic. You're doing the thing. What if or I do heroin? Heroin, that's fine. Okay. That's uh, a different it's, it's uh, the, the poppy opium, the, the opium. opium. <laughs> uh, so for uh, example, cheater expertise lies. Uh, maybe you go to lie, and uh, yeah, because you have that, I don't even bother having you roll, you're just good at it. Oh, like, you're, just, you're just good at it. or, but the one that is um, the one that does kind of have um, some uh, tags to it is uh, everyone can shoot a gun. Everyone can shoot a pistol. That's considered just like you can do that. Um, expertise in pistol or revolver. They, they both do the same thing. It's just theme how you want it. Let's you 
take two. So you can go akimbo if you want to do that, but that you have to have expertise in the weapon, uh, for example. Or if you have like a uh because this is still in times when like people would kill each other with swords. Uh if you have like a like nunchucks or like a they call it like a um a cultural weapon, like something that's not just like a baseball bat. Uh you if you take expertise in that, like you get a bonus for it. Like you can you're better in melee with that or whatever. Boomerang. But if someone else picks it up and they don't have that expertise, they can't do anything with it because they don't know what they're doing. Uh so it's like a you can kind of like take your character like that. Um yeah, so expertise, you can make up your own expertise as well. Uh, if you just like want your character to do something and you can make a, a cool tag for it, um, you can do that. As uh, long as you can like think of something neat that you want your character to be able to do. Um, another one that's a little weird is like, uh, so if you take pilot, uh, which lets you drive pretty much everything, um, your expertise is vehicle of choice. And you'll get to take like uh, what, like you say, like, I'm, I'm kind of, I try to make it like pretty vague. So if you say like, single engine plane or like jeep or something like oh that's cool like i'll let you get bonuses with that like oh, you don't have to be let like us. <laughs> you'll you'll let us sir <laughs> you don't have to be like oh, assess so... the 150 right oh, well but also maybe on the flip side just to make sure i understand to say if i have expertise jeep that does not just because it is a four-wheeled vehicle doesn't mean i then am an expert driver of like a truck or or of a tank or something correct like that. yeah you can yeah. still drive them but you won't may right. not get a bonus to like uh let's say you're in a high-speed chase and they shoot a rocket at you like uh if you have expertise in the vehicle uh you get like bonus rolls so you don't like get nailed because you just you know the you know this is my car i know it like when your car's <laughs> right. on empty right like i got miles i'm okay uh so it's expertise in the vehicle is like a uh um is just gives you a bonus to it. And then uh, if you have expertise in that vehicle, you can also uh, fix it. Actually, that's big too. You can also have know how to repair it. You might have like like Indiana Jones's pilot had the plane, right? I mean, he wasn't in the movie for a whole lot, but like that was his plane. He just knew the plane, right? The, the seaplane. Um, so there's like stuff like that. If you, like, you really like a vehicle, you can find ways to keep it going. Because uh, the idea is like generally most things you find in the 30s kind of suck uh like they're not great and so you're just happy that they they go <laughs> and so they move and so like you might just ditch it for something else um but so i hope i know i've kind of just shotgunned a lot of that information at you Whew. no but that makes sense most of it i mean i think everything else would just come with rolling and, and getting with like getting into it yep yeah uh uh, a couple yeah. more um, things I'm thinking of, but yes, it, yeah, yeah. that you're about there. Um, so one, scars and experiences. We're not going to worry about them right now. Um, yes, yeah, they're in the thirties. Suck. <laughs> oh, in their thirties. Uh, I mean, Thank oh, God, I'm sorry. Oh, no. You per- yeah. wound me. Oh no. Uh, scars and experiences are usually so. How a like a campaign of this plays is it? It's a season, and each session is an episode, and so. There's depending on how long it goes, there could be a mid-season finale and then a season finale. Season finale is oh, the end of the season. Yeah. Uh, at the season finale, you might get experiences or scars depending on how it went because you have a rival looking for the same thing you're looking for, and there's a doomsday clock mm. that will tick that he's getting ahead. So if you're like, well, uh, we're gonna like, we're all pretty hurt, so we're not gonna push forward. We're gonna rest for the day. Well, he's not because he's he never does. So just the clock ticks for him. So there's, it doesn't mean you lose if he gets there before you do. It just means that uh, you might like be consequences. Like he put the the crown on the skeleton and uh, he got the power, I don't know, mm-hmm. you know whatever. Like, the real question is for whom the bell tolls. That's true. And it tolls for thee. Mm-hmm. Uh, so oh, we uh, could, let's just role play that whole book. That's yeah. it. We'll just do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I can uh, live with that. That's okay. The last little bit of things to know are uh, I'm going to give you uh, you're all going to have at least a pistol as weapons and gear and you can just write pistol and uh, under weapons and gear just allows you to shoot Don't um, you because you're adventurers it's 1930s uh, pistols weren't that hard 
to uh, smuggle in places um, and at least let, let you interact with things like the game, more or less. Uh, there's You're going to have... Uh, there's three places you put stuff. There's uh, pockets, bag, and backpack. Pockets are directly on your character. You can have small things in there, like a lighter, an amulet. Um, you can have up to two mags in your pocket. Mags are reloads for whatever weapon of choice you want. Uh, reloads just let you keep shooting after you fail a shoot check. Uh, a bag is like, maybe it's a briefcase you have or a like single strap backpack or like a, uh, I don't know, like, a, um, you know, like a, a tool belt or something like that's considered, uh, you can put a little bit bigger stuff in there that can also carry two mags. Uh, the thing to note is that can carry bigger things, but it's easier to steal or lose. Whereas your pockets are really hard for someone to get into. Uh, that's not, it's not impervious. If there's a really like, if there's a thief or somebody and you, you get got, you can get got, um, you're going to get got if you get got. So the backpack, you can have up to 10 mags in that. Uh, but the backpack is, uh, cumbersome and it is not recommended. You decide to open that up in middle of combat. Cause that's your whole turn to open it, not even dig in, uh, so backpack is like where you keep your big stuff easily lost in like shuffles or things like that. Um, so if you find a relic or item or key or something, you wouldn't want to put it in your backpack unless it's like the golden brick of Bob the Lay Builder and you found his like. I hope that's oh, what spoilers. we're looking for. That oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a rough adventure. Oh. <laughs> the little golden brickerino of a. Uh, the golden sprue. That's right. Right. Hey. Uh, 1930s. So that's what I don't think what sprue back is, but yeah, <laughs> that's true. Uh, so that's about everything. Um, also, with with gear, uh, it's considered like they call it like the tent system, where it's like if you want like camping gear, you don't have to put like tent, sleeping bag, lighter, uh, kindling, rope. You just say camping gear. And we just assume that if something was in it, you had it. Uh, you may not have a flamethrower in it, but like, if you said, "Hey, I take out a small thing of rope that I had in my," it's like, okay, that makes sense for you to have that. Um, uh, also, with weapons and gear, um, you can take things specifically. Uh, so, like, example, it sounds weird, but a hat blocks sun and eyes. Seems silly to say, but like, uh, maybe you're out in the desert. And that having a hat's pretty good. Uh, or uh, uh, or another one that's like kind of forgotten. If you take expertise and, and pistols, you could take uh, holsters. And that actually can carry you two mags plus your guns. And so they're like out of your, they're considered like in your pockets, but not really. They're kind of like in a separate area of your body. So like you can be creative there and think of stuff like, so maybe goggles when you're driving keeps like dust out of your eyes. Uh, that stuff that you can use to give yourself an advantage, it's not just like lighter, right? It's like a cool gear piece you have that, or like uh, a rifle, for example. Rifle and machine guns are all weapons you can get and they do different things. Um, but uh, you'd put that there. Like it's an important thing you have that does something for you. Okay. I've talked a lot. I'm sorry. It was just. <sighs> It's a new system. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Sorry, new system. Jay. It. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. So, we're well, go okay. These. Okay. So let's talk about what we're gonna do here because I want to be smart, right? So, I think we we got about forty minutes for the stream. So, if you want to go through, you want to do like build one character one person's character, and we can kind of talk about that, and then we we could probably do the rest of ours off. So I that, think we could do them all at the same time. Okay. And then I can probably, we do them all at the same time. Yeah. And then I can, uh, uh, then we can just be good for the next one and all start right. going. So, Perfect. I'm already at mine um, too much built too. So I could, we could speed that up by a little bit. Wow. So, okay. That must be uh, nice. That <laughs> yeah, is. It all is. right. Sounds like cheating to me. <laughs> so, first thing you're going to do. How do we know is, what you uh, rolled, huh? Uh, just how don't do I roll know anything? You, you pick. Yeah. This is, unless you want to do all random. Uh, uh that's what so you had me do last thing. time. That's true. 
Uh, yeah, people can multitask, Jay. It's a uh, so call me Shut if you up, need Dips. a. Shut up. Call me if you need a blank. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick two tags. Now, there's a couple things to this. Uh, you can pick out of uh, the two books. Um, the the adventure book has the tag list, the normal core book in there. Um, those are all good. And then if you go to the broken uh, the compass book, there is uh, specific tags for the era in there. Um, you can do just pick two. There's a couple like offshoot well, things you can do. Well, hold on. So we want to make sure we fill out the party, right? What Nick? What did you pick for your two tags? Just so we all know. Uh, I am a professor spy, distinguished gentleman. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Wait. So it's professor spy, right? Okay. Yes. Yep. Yeah, did you pick? Two, basically, pick two quote-unquote classes and you smash them together okay and that's your text well so if nerd. uh big nerd if you guys would be okay with this i was looking at the golden uh age one and i thought it would be fun to be a gentleman smuggler okay Ooh. okay, okay. classy that's i good. like it i can see i can see why you two would get along in the game so there you go. ah we're old <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i'm also old but we'll get to that later <laughs> yeah uh real quick you can use the tag young or old, and that adjusts things for you. Um, I don't recommend it usually. Just be who you want to be. Uh, and there's also rich. So they, I'm kind of surprised they don't say that front. You can be a rich one tag. So you lose a tag. So you lose a bunch of skills. But rich starts you off in the setting at max money. You are, because in the depression, either you were like, you were on the blimp, you're on the Zeppelin flying around, or you were eating dirt in the ground, yeah. right? There's like yeah. no middle ground. So Diff Diff says Jay's part of the mob smuggling hooch. So I've been watching a lot of Peaky Blinders lately, and that's where oh. that's, that's <laughs> yeah, that's Good what's man. been is, driving. Right. The, he I, was smuggling hooch. Now he needs a new job. That's yeah. why he's here. The Peaky fucking Blinders. That's true, actually. So 1933 is the year. Um, Actually, December 5th, 1933 is when Prohibition was ended. Uh, so and the fun thing about this is you might learn some stuff because I actually have to look uh, it up to get uh, accurate. Uh, I hate learning accurate. stuff. All right, Tim, what do you what do you got, buddy? What do you think you're going to be? I don't know. What, how do I do this with okay, so oh randomizer? Boy. Yeah. So you want to random it? Okay. Yep. Oh, oh, 100%. Oh, snap. Uh-oh. Okay. Here we go. Oh, snap. Let me uh, open up my physical. The random. Oh my blob. Austin, I didn't hear you talk in a while, and I was like, oh, there's someone in my house who's evidently watching the stream, too. <laughs> random. <laughs> I just yeah, looked. Man, you really should random. Yeah, just some guy <laughs> opening your window behind you, yelling random, random, <laughs> oh. slamming it back down. <laughs> so roll a d6 for me. Ooh, all right. D6. 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 Yeah. yeah. How are you going to cheat? Four. No, result you're okay. Getting. So, society. Uh, roll again. Okay. Hold on. Society. Okay. And one. Uh, you're a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, so it's, society is like the. Wait, the, like on his wife time. or in life? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no, he's just, so you get the cheater tag. So that <laughs> yeah. is, um. <laughs> Way to go, Tim. Uh, because the random, the random skills aren't, uh, the, the, the air specific ones aren't in this. So you get, uh, oh, okay. you get the book. Um, actually, you know what? Yeah. Take, uh, yeah, you can, take, you can, alter well, no, because uh, you're going to have like three people with uh, society. So you're going right. to be, I'm going to change that. So you're going to do, uh, that's fine. You're going to do detective. Okay. Detective dumb society. Shoe. No, sorry. No detective cheater. No, you're just no, gonna be a no. detective. That's, that's your, your that's oh, your first one. Okay. First one. Your field is guts. Oh, okay. okay. Your field is guts, and your expertise is investigation. Okay. Okay. So find out, okay, investigation. Okay. So hold on. If we pick two tags, like I pick yep. gentleman smuggler, mm -hmm. how do I determine my field ex or do I get both fields and expertise and all? You get both. All the skills and, and yeah. all the skills. Nice. Yeah. Right. They can double up, so, you, so there, there's yeah. going to be a chance you roll like six dice when you need to do something because you're really good at it. Okay. So just to make sure I'm putting this in the right spot on my character sheet. Yep. Call me if you need a detective. Yep. For right now, and then we're going to give you one more tag. We'll, yeah, you'll get it. Sure, sure, sure. So, uh, sure. roll a d6 for me again. 
Okay. A one again. Okay, action and roll again. And a four again. Oh my god. Okay. Um, you're a detective, True Daredevil. Detective. detective, Daredevil. All right. Okay, and so Daredevil is in the core book. Um, that gives you. Uh, it's action guts again, so you'll be maxed that. So actually, okay. here's how it works. So the uh, the yeah. detective was detective was guts, okay, and then so okay. your guts and action are both going to be three stars. So you're like the okay, the, the like the you need something new. You're you need, macho. Like, uh, and just and to then, make sure I understand, and so for for those big like for action and guts, you can't go beyond three. Right? No, yeah, no. If you start with okay. you always okay. have two, so, so you're just, you're beyond that. Sure, okay. Fair enough. Um, right. Your expertise is heights. Okay. And um, there's a list of skills. I'll just ping you. Yeah. Uh, to fill you. in. So a... okay. So when you have the skills, like under the action guts and all, all the society. Yep. You you fill in. How do you know how many you have? Sorry, I think you I fill in one pit. Yeah, one each, for each, each one you have. But if you have it like listed twice, you like. Yeah, like my professor spy gets two uh, for eloquence from both. Oh, okay. so then I have all so, three filled. For so then, what's the one in the parentheses? So, like for instance, my, um, mine says society parentheses guts. Yep. So what that means is if you took a tag that already gave you that first one. Yeah. Like for example, um, if both were guts that he had, because you can only have one point in guts, it gives you a second right. tag, like a second ah. one that you can fill in, so you always I have two uh, max stats. Okay, okay. So you have two yep. max stats, and so what I sent you, Tim, was... Yes, I got you. Uh, all those, put a pip in. Okay. Oh, okay. And gotcha. some of them might be twice. I think you get cool twice. Yeah. Uh, so you'll just max out. Okay. Okay, Austin. Well... I wanted to be a moonshine smuggler, but Jay already beat. Me. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, okay. You could. There's something to that, right? You could do it. Like you, maybe you were. Um, the reason why you're here is you were partners with Jay, or maybe competitors. Uh, because it's the, the time was like, and maybe there's a common cause. So okay, uh, uh, pin for a sec. You don't make a backstory for your character. You make it as you go. So okay. for example, um. If you're in a gunfight and we jump behind a wall and you're like, just like Budapest, huh? and then uh, <laughs> I, you'll get me and I'm like, you remember Budapest a lot differently than I do. It's like you you can make it up as you go. So maybe you and Jay were competitors or maybe you were uh, working together or maybe. Yeah, I mean, you know. I mean, it doesn't mean that I was necessarily Nick's the one that said smuggling hooch. I mean, or somebody from chat. I could have been smuggling like weapons. Oh, yeah. Or yeah. opium, or you know, so and then maybe we met while we were doing that, but we can create that story, you know. Uh, Whatever and so, comes up convenient that something needs to be smuggled, that's what you smuggled. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it just smuggles yeah. a <laughs> Batman detective daredevil. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's actually <laughs> <laughs> Tim, you're Batman. Nice, he's Batman. So, uh, you can do you can make that character so. So one tag will be smuggler, mm. and that your main uh, field will be crime. Okay. And your expertise will be contraband. And I'm going to ping you the set of... I will be right back. Carry on with... I can still hear. Carry on. Okay. Well, so can, we, the of... <laughs> can we, though? Can we? Bring us with I'll... you. <laughs> I'll ping you the set of uh, things to fill in. And then what's your other tag? Wanted to be a spy. A spy? A spy. Okay. Okay. Smuggler spy. I've been on okay. everybody's toes. Um, spy is a smuggler official. DTTT Arcanist Detective. Okay, spy. It's in the book. So I will. DTTT Hunk, Gunslinger, Medic, Pilot, Playboy, Rebel, Professor, Reporter, Soldier, Spy. Okay, so because you have two in crime. Uh, you'll get another. You'll get a point in it. instead of a second point in crime because you can't. You'll get it in society. Okay. Society, and then your expertise is espionage. Nice. And then here are the skills you will fill in. Okay. Expertise in contraband and espionage. 
So okay. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get two check marks or an eloquence. Yep. So uh, you're a bunch of talkers. That's why I kind of steered Tim into being a uh, a muscle guy. <laughs> Well, because it's like it's gonna be like four people in eloquence. Hey, like, Tim, well, go do that. That. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, I, how do I how do I make everyone get to do something when it's like we're gonna we're gonna take this thing. action movie and resolve well, all of our issues peacefully? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, so under under like for smuggler though, there's definitely tough. Oh yeah, like, you know, you like there's it. wild. Uh, you have wild, so you know, like you could. There's some stuff in there, but yeah. Oh sure. Um. So. Uh, the next bit is you actually get to pick a third expertise. Okay. And so expertise and that can just be can anything be you think fits anything your Anything you want. So the the setting has some expertises um, that come with it. Uh, so the ones I suggest for the for the setting are uh, command. So that'd be like giving orders, coordinating personnel and subordinates, inspiring confidence, and still courage in the week. Uh, contraband, uh, knowing ways and places to smuggle and hide goods, hiding cargo, work contracts, finding the best way to pass through roadblocks and customs, uh, etiquette, uh, knowing good manners, uh, na navigating high society with confidence, having good taste in clothing, um, and never being inappropriate, uh, investigation, following leads, analyzing proof, gathering intel, interrogating, tailing people, uh, occult, uh, Knowing the practices and branches of occult sciences, having an understanding of supernatural forces and phenomena, having studied alleged magical tomes, old beliefs, and dark uh, dark rites, and then tradition is knowing the tradition, beliefs, and religions of a chosen people. Um, and then so for tradition, um, what I'll do is... Um, what page was that on? That is on the... Uh, in the, the Golden Age book. Yep. That is on page 32 of the PDF. Okay, and for the um, uh, the normal rack of them, uh, let's see where is it? It's in here somewhere. Pockets, backpack, young and old, uh, accidental adventure, determined wise. I enjoy that I'm the detective surrounded by the criminals. I'm I'm okay with that. Well, oh, that's yeah. kind of funny. Like, well, that's what maybe uh. <laughs> Maybe brought you together was uh, uh, like yeah, a a greater uh, like they're just smuggling like booze. That's kind of low key to like whatever uh, your rival is smuggling. Maybe bodies. Right, uh, right, right. Okay, so expertise is <laughs> bodies. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's actually a, a, a legendary hunter and hunt showdown, right? The <laughs> little uh, le uh, it's like the oh, what is it the Cadaver smuggler, or this gun runner, uh, cadaver gun runner, or something. I don't. Uh, I don't carcass, his name. carcass gun runner. That's it. He puts guns in dead bodies, and, like smuggles them over, so mm. the people just think he's running bodies. Uh, so on page forty three of the core book, the that is the rest of what they suggest uh, to be uh, expertise. So you get a third one. Um, so exact example like strength. Um, lifting, breaking, bursting through things, exhibiting physical strength. Like, if you had that and you had to burst down a door, I wouldn't even make you roll. I'm like, yeah, you're, you're strong. That's your that's your thing. Or um, mechanics, uh, military, orienteering, heights, heroism, hunting, like uh, uh, espionage, like all those things, yeah, like Jumanji. their tags. <laughs> Jumanji. Uh, so it's uh, it's all like... yeah. So, uh, special. so this is in addition to the contraband and espionage that are. Yes, yeah, you just get yeah, to pick a third, whatever total. you want. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. So, so, uh, Austin, I guess if we're both doing smuggler, if you wanted to do contraband as your third, what, what was the two you picked? Your first. Don't I already have contraband and espionage? Uh, yeah, you got those for free. Yeah, I, yeah. So I was gonna get two pick... and then pick one. Yeah, I was gonna pick strength. Okay. Really yeah. Hard. Because you both, bit. your your tag gives you, um, yeah, smuggler oh. gives you contraband, right? But that could be said like, if J if uh, one of you is like a booze smuggler and one of you is a weapon smuggler, uh, you may know contraband, but I might not let you know both the same thing, uh, just so it's like you both have like a specialty, like, yeah. 
And there's two extra tags that I can hand out that I'm not going to, at least yet. It's chosen one and medium. Um, so it's there's a chance you run into supernatural things, but to you, supernatural things don't exist. Uh, never heard of them. Mummies are for movies, right? Like it's all just uh, damn commies everywhere. Tim, do you have your bag? Hmm. Get away from the computer. <laughs> no, he had a little shutter, I think. Maybe, uh, you know, he lives in a good place. It's got a lot of good food. So it could just be like a, uh, fast food bag from anywhere. Really? It's, it is a shutter, but yes. Anyway, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just slim chickens. Uh, um, that's mine. All mine. <laughs> that's mine. So, okay. Uh, got your character. You said for, now. The, for the third expertise, that's the only thing I'm missing is, yep. uh, you said it was page 43 in the core book. Yep. In the, uh, the, Broken Compass Adventure Book, okay. or page yes. uh, thirty-two in the Golden, uh, ah, okay, the Golden, golden Age book. Gotcha. The Golden Age ones are I... specific. Um, sure, it might be nice if someone took a cult. I was actually not just because you said that. I was at, when you were saying that, about that before. I was kind of thinking about that, and I do have a idea behind that. So if it's okay, I can take a cult. Yeah, and it would make uh, that's yeah. an expertise. Yes, to make sure. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I'm fine with that. I'll take that. if you see a uh, like, uh, for example, if you see a an occult marking on the wall, the other three members yeah. of the party just make it look like a scribble. Like, oh no, that's the right. that kooky cult, the cookie grabbers, and they're grabbing <laughs> cookies around here. And <laughs> Those watch dang out. cookie grabbers killed my family. But yeah. yes, <laughs> where is she? <laughs> well, maybe. Um... She? Oh God, I am Batman. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> but I will use guns. <laughs> I will. So you're you're an effective yeah. Batman. I'm. That's called the Punisher. But yes, anyway. That's true. <laughs> maybe. So maybe I'll. What did you take, Nick, for your third one? Uh, mine is lock picking mm. for my third one. Maybe I'll take tradition, just okay. to kind of know, like then, like as someone who's been like running and doing all you know i just i like use their local beliefs and legends yeah, to like the more yeah local stuff uh i've got a degree where i kind of know about that stuff but it's more like your your street smarts on book smarts yeah so cool um and okay so we need a few other things so actually yeah we'll go back to the character sheet uh okay now uh so you've got um you've got call me if you need a you got your two tags you've got uh all of your stats listed out um you get one luck coin that's next to luck that's a big circle there uh put a one in that what a luck coin does if you're out of luck and you're going to die you can flip the luck coin if it comes with heads uh you keep it and it goes on if it comes up tails uh you still uh you still do the thing like you save their life or whatever, but you lose the coin. And luck coins are exceptionally hard to get back. Once you use one, they're 50 50, they just go. But uh, you can also give someone a luck coin. Like, let's say um, Jay got shot up a lot and, uh, you know, he failed to check to jump a cliff because there's death in this game. Uh, like, it, even though there's no failing, like you can die if things just go very sure. bad. Um, but it's supposed to be the death is supposed to be thematic, not just like goblin through spear hit man go down failed to stay alive check three times guess i'm dead it's uh maybe he jumps and like just doesn't quite make the he fails that too right so he he he's bleeding he's got three bad feelings he jumps he misses you can give up your luck coin just throw it away to make it so they succeed so you save someone's life um so uh jay also, was a suspect all right jay was a <laughs> That he also, Jay jumps. Tim has a then, revolver. It only holds yeah, Tim, six. Tim he paused to grab it one and then just pulls it back slowly. <laughs> like I knew it was you all along, <laughs> Shalansky. Um, Shalansky. Oh, Ax Tim accidentally shot Chase sometimes. Um, and so uh, we got that. Um, okay, so a little bit about the bad feelings. Um, if you ever accumulate three. Or if grammar ever accumulates two more, because uh, mm -hmm. he's old, uh, you old you become what's called a wreck, and you get a disadvantage on everything. You're just like <laughs> already a wreck. 
you're so you're like i'm already i'm already like a walking wreck if you get um because then i can make up bad feelings or you can make up good feelings that's why there's a spot for both so you can like if something crazy happens uh you can kind of put a new one in but that's how you die is if you get three bad feelings you're out of luck and then another bad thing happens to you where you get a bad feeling you get like shot or like you're out um now that said shot by the um, occult haha that's true uh true detective <laughs> style um or me you can, if you uh... keep running your mouth <laughs> <laughs> just i just get pings i put my gun to the back of tim's character he doesn't know um oh god uh, i fire that um if your character dies eloquently you may not be dead uh as long as the body wasn't found so okay. if you jump Star off Wars that cliff world. yeah if you jump off the cliff and you just miss um there is a chance if you really like that character so you'll get you'll make a new one like you'll make a new one to continue playing but yeah. there's a chance that you come back. Like so, a... so blood packed. If anyone falls off a cliff, no one look for him. Just be like, ah, he's gone, and just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, uh, well, well, see you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's dark down there. I'm not going down there. All right, bye. Let's go. Um, <laughs> I'm sure we'll okay. meet someone else soon. And then, uh, Jay, your... it's a drainage ditch. I'm right here. Nope, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. You guys hear something? No, oh, no, that's just the drip of toxic water. Okay, good night. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm not dead. I like how it helps me, Tom. Tim's identical brother. That reminds me of, uh, oh, God, uh, 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 Beer Fest. Beer fest. Yeah. 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 <laughs> just puts on the mustache, the same actor, and he comes back. Yeah. Wow, you're way better than your originally your brother. <laughs> um, all right, so places I call home on your sheet. That's at the top. Um, okay. You have a heritage, a homeland, and a workplace. Yep. Um, you can random them, Tim, if you want. I can uh, get get the die out here. Um, you but oh, speak oh, my heritage language. Yeah. Is like a heritage would be like um, I'm Irish. A homeland is I'm Irish, but I'm from Queens. I'm from <laughs> New York, um, and my workplace might be in. Uh, Florida, like I work in a uh, <laughs> right because it could be just went with like the whole New York stereotype right there. Like I'm an Irish I, guy from Queens, but I live in Florida now. It's I, nice. I, you know, I have an ice cream parlor yeah. and 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 <laughs> Boca. You know, and, and then my grandmother got killed by the occult, so I became a detective. And, uh, <laughs> As one does. Um, Let me tell you right, where so. the water's better. <laughs> Don't drink it here. Uh, okay. So, if you'd like to random your uh, your place to call home, Tim. Yeah, all right. right. Roll a d6. All right. I'm going to be a one or a four again. Five. Uh, that is Asia. Okay. Roll again. Okay. <laughs> Three. Uh, Japan. So, your, uh, your heritage oh, is Japan. Okay. Your okay. Um, the, the concept of this character in my head just completely changed. Oh nope. yeah, it's it's all over the place. Now your your homeland. Uh, yes. Roll again for me. Okay. Three. Okay. Roll again. Two. Uh, Spain, Italy, or Greece. Italy. Okay. So you were, you are Japanese, and your home was Italy. And I'm not going to let you random this last one. Uh, You're all you in have to role play all of That's this. Fine. That's oh, fine. Yeah, you got to role play your <laughs> Japanese, <laughs> a Japanese Italian homeland. <laughs> Mamma mia! You have Just insulted saying, my I'm... honor. <laughs> in these stories, Nazis always seem to be the enemy. I'm getting some real action spots <laughs> <Yeah>. over here. <laughs> oh, sh- <laughs> I mean, we're we're a couple of years off, so it's okay. He hasn't fully committed to it yet. He's, it's just just nobody make fun of his paintings. <laughs> they have the art. Yeah, it's real good, buddy. Everybody, chill, chill, chill. Nick's like, dude, it's just a stick figure. Just shut up, shut up. It's fine. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, Tell me to be a mechanic. For Japanese <laughs> missionaries to Italy, but yeah. let's carry on. He just he just drew a he drew a stick figure of my head being cut off. Yeah, yeah. It's, Tom, it's good. Tom, good. This, this can only get worse. <laughs> Hey, you're pretty cool. Don't come to Italy tomorrow. <laughs> we're in uh, Italy. It's just <laughs> Italy. It's so the whole thing. You said we're I'm all really good at detecting things. I'll find you. You said we're all in the United States. Yeah. Um, okay. So I'm gonna pick a. My goal would be you. You all are in a speakeasy. Is where you're gonna meet. Uh, because those would still be around, and those are kind of hidden. Um, yep. So that's gonna be the meeting spot. Uh, so I picked. I want the last year in Prohibition, but real close to the war, so like Germans could be doing stuff. Um, German, as Germans, Germans do. Yes, the Germans do be doing stuff. I was gonna say, <laughs> and only the Germans and no one else, right? Yeah. Everyone, yeah. thank you. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, you're you're in Italy, Tim. I would be careful. Yeah, it's just you <laughs> join. That kind of worked out. You're like the Japanese ambassador to Italy, and like maybe we should join up with those guys. I don't know. So maybe it'll be okay. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I don't like, like it. A... I don't like Hitler's ideas, but boy, can he paint a landscape? Yeah, <laughs> just, just imagine it like naked gun style, where all of a sudden, like fast forward like a few years, and all of a sudden, like, and that's how they all rose to power. Yeah. Through Tim. <laughs> Through Jim's incompetence. Let's just no. clarify. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, so the last bit to fill out is words to live by. Now, um, you can pick your own or you can random. Uh, there's a random for that, too. <laughs> um, I didn't know there was, but I have to now. <laughs> yeah, no, you're, you're committed. Um, yeah. So words to live by are, for example, one of them is uh, life is more precious than gold. So it's like if you had a choice uh, to save somebody, you would uh, over treasure. Or if uh, gold is more precious than people, then you'd. It, it's way to like role play your character a little bit more to give them a thing. What page right. is that on, buddy? That is on page 57. Oh, 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 oh sorry. That's the actual book. Uh, yeah, I got the actual book. Okay. Uh, 57 is the page for the random words to live by. And you can, you don't have to pick random if you're, if you don't want to do random for your character, you can look through these. These are just some like. Yeah good like um good ones to go like uh Have first you don't succeed know what tim's random one's gonna be <laughs> uh reckless shoot first ask questions later what was yours jay oh i've seen i've been through worse yeah i've been through worse yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Through worse. <laughs> yeah I, how do we randomize this, this mussolini's a, a neat good. guy <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, hit me with a hit me with a die. Me with a D6. All right, all right. Boy, things are Six. never gonna change. Six, okay, reckless. All right, uh, give me another one. Hold on, five. Uh, better to ask for forgiveness than permission. Jesus. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, you're the. Okay, so you. I mean, it sounds not good, but. You're like the uh <laughs> You're the investor watch the expanse. Inspector Cluzo. No. <laughs> okay, the, the, so <laughs> No, the but I've heard of it. You get there's a uh like a Uh oh. The wire. You know, like I don't know, man, like I need to get the, the evidence, something like that. So you're like a you can right. be um, I got you. You're I sick of you. following the letter. That's why you're the smugglers, because you know, like, That's right. Sometimes you, know, you got to get your hands dirty. Get this done. Sorry, I saw it off your leg. But sometimes so you got to stick your Japanese hands in that Italian dirt and just go, <laughs> Mamma mia. <laughs> Mamma mia, where's my tuna roll? <laughs> Mamma mia, sushi. <laughs> oh, no. I just can't get over that we found the missing. Hey, link. what did uh, what did Mario say to Peach when he broke up with her? What? It's not you. It's me, a Mario. Oh. <laughs> Dad, Mario joking, coming everybody. Oh, you gotta, oh man. Man. Hey, you gotta warn us. <laughs> what uh, what kind okay. of pants does Mario wear? Oh God, denim, denim, denim. 
Oh. Okay. So everybody. Hey. Uh, hey, you... Tim. How does yes, how does a ginger high five his friends? He just claps because he doesn't have himself. any okay. friends. Yes, I get it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> hey Tim, I appreciate you being here, pal. You're really you're really taking this like a champ. <laughs> yep. Um. So, uh, <laughs> everybody, uh. Go around and give me your words to live by, what you chose. Uh, forgiveness yeah, over permission. Like yeah. 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 <laughs> what was yours, Austin? Uh, I'm still deciding between okay. two. Okay, yep. Uh, Nick? Uh, for mine, I've got... Uh, I want custom, and his are for queen and country. Oh. He's going to okay. put his, his job Ooh. here. He is a, he's an Englishman. He's gonna put yeah, his his job weird. above everything else. Wait, that we would can't be so custom. custom. Yeah, yeah, you can just yeah, make it your own custom. Yeah, oh, yeah. I got, oh, I got one. I got All right, one. hit me. Uh, live free or die, a commie sucker. <laughs> <laughs> just specifically, I mean, That's, we could just take. Like, I mean, live free or die. That's I don't know cool. if communism yeah, was really widely yeah. known yeah. at this time. People, yeah, <laughs> but sure. I mean, pretty good. Was, he, just, was he smuggling yes. and just stumbling into a manifesto somewhere? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He you know met. What? He met Lenin. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know what's up. Forrest Gump style. He literally <laughs> Lenin's yeah. only got like three chapters of his book, and he read it to Austin's character. He's like, no, no. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, you just go up to Lenin. Hey, that's pretty good. You should keep going. He just Sorry. slaps it out of his hand. <laughs> hey, Nerd. Let me, let me see that page. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's real cold in here. I'm gonna go to the fireplace and warm up. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Should be for king and country, Nick. Uh, that's true. Uh, no, what I guess it is at this point Ooh. in time, it is king. King. It's true. Yeah. True. Uh, and, okay. Uh, My words to live by are as follows: In life. Nothing is free. Oh, okay. That's good. That's very uh, Peaky Blinders. Uh, we got nothing, so everything. Uh, what is it? In uh, life, nothing is free. Uh, I have nothing, so uh, I have nothing. Now I have everything. <laughs> if I have nothing, I have everything. Uh, cool. Okay. So, I so think that's I'm good. actually homeland uh, in England as well, my friend. To oh, an American okay. GI and a French lady. What, and a French lady? Okay. Yeah. So, all right, cool. Uh, Perhaps so a the, woman I of the night. <laughs> a lady of the night. So I was trying to think of a cool artifact yep. uh, that you could go find. All right. Um, so a couple things about being an adventurer is treasure is the most important thing. <gasps> above all else you want the treasure that's like your whole reason to be here the whole reason to give me it. Like that in, treasure give me that treasure like a little national treasure uh mm -hmm. think of uh nicholas cage characters just focused on the man like i was gonna call it the manifesto the declaration of independence <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. oh boy <laughs> and we are gonna be wrapping this up uh, real quick but uh <laughs> Uh, so that's your hope. So a couple of things in how the game plays. If you run into a clue, if you find it or you hear it, I will specifically say that is a clue. You should write that down. That is important. Um, and then the other thing is if you find a key, which would be like a a key can turn into the treasure, possibly, or a key is a way to get into the treasure room, or so it's an important object. I will specifically call that out as a key. So you know that it's not just junk. So, for example, if you find, like, um, uh, for example, uh, you find um, Ben Franklin's bifocals, and you're like, oh, this is just junk. Like, no, no, you got to uh, look. You got to look through the thing, and it, you see the special colors. The, Are we looking the for the Maltese ink. Falcon? Is that what's happening here, buddy? Yeah, so it could be. So if it's an important fact that you find or a uh, or a item that's significant, I will call it out. Um, I do ask that one of you keep the travel uh, travel diary. So the travel diary um, is a. Let me download this real quick. 
is a list of like uh, the episode you're on, um, important things that may come up. Uh, travel by. We all saw who it was. Yeah, so we know who it is. It was. We all know it was Jay. Yeah, well, that's fine. Uh, so travel diary. Uh, so it's. I'm bad uh, at that. You guys really don't want me in charge of that. <laughs> I mean, that's even better. Just, I don't know. We did some things. I don't know. You know. Yeah, uh, I better. don't know. It says cat here. Was there a cat involved in this? <laughs> With a question mark. <laughs> yeah. Was he even sure? yeah. <laughs> ben Franklin's 3D glasses. <laughs> His red and blue glasses. He was totally yeah. rad. Um, uh, Revolutionary yeah, rad. Uh, so, okay, so the Travel Diary, what you're looking for is going to be the Golden Scarab. So if one of you wants to take that down. Oh, God. I wasn't even listening. What was it? The Yellow the, Beetle? The Golden Scarab. Mm -hmm. The Yellow Beetle. <laughs> yep. That's exactly correct. That's right. Uh, okay, give me one second. And then uh, this is going to be uh, Season 1 era 1930s and then for the assets you're going to fill up all of getting by and well off with all the little like see the gold bars you're going to fill all those up to full of well off what and then let me so uh, at the bottom okay. of the, the travel diary do you see the gold bars mm -hmm. they're lower left on the page it's over vehicle assets it's called um, oh it's okay. something different yeah it's like a physical like drawing yeah, there it's a different page oh, yes okay. it's a different page it's a, it's which a different one, which one are we filling up again um so you fill up uh all four getting by and all three well off and so what this represents is if you guys need to eat you you're well off so you don't need to like scrounge you can go buy dinner uh if you need to like buy a newspaper to see what's going you can do that you need to buy mags you can get those like that doesn't actually lower your your income. Like small things, like you're okay. If you want to buy a car, uh, that might be two of your income. Or if you want to buy a plane ticket, that might be one of your income because travel is expensive back then. Uh, only the rich traveled really like that. And if you do manage to get a deal on travel, you're probably like in the bottom of a boat, right? Like you're not like upper unless you spend the the income. You can. Uh, that's it's like a group combined thing. Um, hmm. Now the tag rich would put you to loaded, uh, but the 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 risk of that is if you are loaded in the 1930s, um, you are a target for every single person on the planet, yeah. <laughs> right? Like you are yeah. a. So this is actually like a benefit that you're not super rich. Um, and let me get a. Give me a rival. Well, I've uh, let me try this. See if I can have AI generate me a rival name for you. Ooh, Hercof Hercules Rockefeller. I tried to have it generate <laughs> oh, like. No, we're up against Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. And then we should have Kyle come on and play the play the villain. <laughs> All right. But he's so, just a giant calculator. He's just here. Are, here are the names. Here are the names AI's generated. Oh man. The Green Goblin. Oh, original. Dynamo. It's just straight up the Green Goblin. Oh, the Riddler, the Scarecrow. But uh, what's his name? But it is a he. Oh, got a little little uh, little in intel out of me. Um, so how how the works is whatever you end up. So the golden um the golden scarab. Uh, next. Next session, I'll read The Legend of the Golden Scarab to get you guys uh, in the mindset for it. Um, and then you're going to have every every time you play, there's a rival. And he could be anything from a bored rich guy or a member of the society or maybe a uh, someone who's got maybe like a tragic backstory, uh, but more grit. Like they're they're going for it. And so you're it's a race between you and them to get to the thing. Think of um, like... Uh, National Treasure again, right? Uh, that rich dudes group. I don't even remember the villain's name in National Treasure. Uh, but they were like right in the tail of Nicolas Cage the whole time. But he's just like one step ahead because he knew all the clues. Um, but uh, so that's characters made. And I think uh, next session will be the pilot episode. 
And so how this works is since it's the pilot uh, and you're still figuring things out, we'll play through a session. And at the end of the pilot episode, you can change anything you want in your character. Everything is up for grabs. You can just, if you're like, hey, um, I'd rather be like the shooty guy. We don't have a shooty guy. I, you can change all that. That's all mm -hmm. up for grabs. Because a pilot, you're still trying to, pilot episodes of TV shows, you're still trying to like oh. figure it out. Um, <laughs> I thought you meant we were going to like meet a pilot. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, uh, a pilot episode of your, of like, your show. Oh, your this sounds through. important. We're going to need a plane. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say, I, I was curious because you inspired me there, Evan. I was like, what if I put into the certain AI overlord a Japanese-Italian name? Yeah, oh. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, Hiroshi Rossi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> that is, it's actually really good. It was like, oh, well, all right. Sorry, carry on. I just you inspired me. There you go. No, that's good. That's good. So, um, that was like his do... first name is named after a place that won't be existing. And like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, foreshadowing anybody? And, and um, the last name means red. <laughs> oh, red. Oh, no. Um, so yeah, that's... uh, yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. it so yeah, uh, hey, better go was... back to your hometown now before it, uh, <laughs> just before yeah, the it's, end. It's like part. Tim's bash story, is yeah, like a time traveler, and like it's definitely got to be a Nazi, Evan, definitely, yeah, 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 19, yeah, so oh, oh, for yeah. sure. I mean, like, for sure, for sure, yeah, that's the nice thing about the 1930s is you can have them as a villain looking for something, and there's really no remorse, no, right? It's not like because sometimes when you're fighting, like other dudes who are looking for it they're not may not be like bad guys they're just looking yeah. for it too for example well and i think the way our party is kind of assembled you're gonna need something really bad for us to like you know like kind of come together over like sure the treasure is the one thing but then when like the bad guy shows up we're like oh no like he has to die yeah. like we are well, all like, in agreement can, like, you well, can't let him have that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I like to think of all of you. It reminds me of the scene from The Rocketeer where at the end when uh, the cop is back to back with the um, the booze runner, the uh, uh, the mafia dude, and uh, the Nazis show up and they're back to back shooting at the Nazis because they, they, right, they want their jet pack. And he goes, I may not make an honest buck, but I'm American through and through. And like that <laughs> unites them to fight the, uh, the, like, the villains. Yeah. And I'm like, that's how I kind of saw the team get together. Like yep. you've got a detective, two smugglers, uh, and a, uh, a British spy, uh, a very eclectic, but, uh, I might send you stuff, um, like messages or something like that to give you some like reason, Yeah. but maybe just, you know, like, I'm not, I don't want to do a huge backstory, but there has to be a yeah. reason why Nick is here. Uh, cause I, I wanted it to start in, the u.s and then take you somewhere else yeah um i was actually trying to find like not cool nautical relics uh but like trident staff is kind of like yeah okay yeah. Kind you of know, done. and you know austin i think it would be funny too, like <clears throat> to kind of separate ourselves if you're doing like moonshine right like i could almost think of you like i think of stab cast as unsophisticated rednecks and like <laughs> and so just kind of <laughs> like <laughs> DJ, it all works out because my name, my my character's name is Tennessee Jackson. Yeah, so perfect. Tennessee, yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah. Tennessee Jackson. Oh man, we're already on the same. We're on the same middle. page here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah perfect. <laughs> Look, I went to Knoxville recently. All right, <laughs> yeah. that's true. <laughs> Rome's lost most marbles. Uh, Rome's lost marbles. Yeah, like there's a lot of stuff. Uh, actually, the book. Um, to be fair to these books, they do give you like. Um, like six relics of something that's like people have heard of, but it's funny because I actually have to do like historical research and uh, to find something that fits that's thematic that makes sense, and it's it kind of encourages you to do that. It's like, well, you know, look through history, like history's got a lot of crazy shit that happens, and uh, a lot of legends and stuff were made from that. But um, the one thing you need to know is that it's true, all of it, all the legends are true. Or so someone told you. Um, hmm. A man in a hat, maybe. Some jackass in a hat. Uh, but I think that's good. I think that's session zero. And then we'll do the pilot next week. 
And uh, the goal is to have um, uh, the goal is to have different members of the Fifth Trooper cast come on to be uh, bit characters. So, like, instead of having me role playing nice, a nice. side character, um, we could have like uh, uh, Mike or you might know him as Dash come on and be like a character for an episode who you interact with, and then he might come back, he might not. Right? Just it keeps it like. Uh, I think it's fun to rotate. Like I want other Evan on, and I, I got to figure out what to do with him. Uh, it's just like make him a doctor. Yeah, yeah. I just like belittle his character the yeah. whole time. Yeah. Make him like like a like a snake oil salesman. Yeah, yeah. I was like a snake oil intern. Yeah, snake go. oil intern didn't quite make it. <laughs> just bottles of dirty water. The the bottom of the pyramid scheme. <laughs> But uh, yeah, folks, I think we're good. All right. Um, you want anything else yeah, you want to add, or DJ? No, I, I think that's great. Ooh, I think. Just... <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, that would really up. No, yeah, make him a chiropractor. <laughs> oh, dude, that would drive him insane. Um, you just no, I'm not even coming on. Um, yeah, no, I think this is good. I'm really looking forward to it. This is a good group, and uh, like Evan said, the rotation is going to be fun. Um, and I think, you know, I think this, we knew this episode was going to be a little bit slower and clunky just because all episode zeros are always like this, right? The like, Hey, getting your character ready is always like this. But if you guys stick with us, I'm sure I, me, no, no one, Evan, he's very creative. So I'm sure he's got some really cool stuff planned for us. And all these guys are amazing. So I'm really excited, uh, to get this going. So yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. And, uh, we're just going to keep doing this for a while until Evan and I get bored of it and change to something else. Cause that's how we do podcasts. <laughs> that's true. It's kind of yeah. like, this is, kind of it um but the nice thing about the system is you can do prequels you can do sequels you can do spin-offs from mm. your character so anything you make uh you can like if you do a like a spin-off it'd be like maybe some of the characters you interact with are the new main characters or they have uh the next settings they do they have black powder pirates um they have uh it's like journeys extraordinaries which is like journey to the center of the earth jules verne uh, Lost Island, uh, you know, Thousand Leagues of the Sea, Ten Thousand Leagues of the Sea. There's was like a bunch of cool settings. Uh, so if you like this, there's more to do, uh, more like cool. Uh, even the fans, they a fans made one that became official. It's like Broadway, like old timey Broadway of like characters. Like it's a little bit more like, uh, 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 not like you know getting chased by a Nazi uh, a vehicle down the desert road, but it's. It looked, it got pretty good reviews. The one that I was really mad that you couldn't get is um, if you did the Kickstarter for this game, I didn't know there was one, so I was a little bummed out about that. But uh, they had uh, one called Luck Tales, and it had a bunch of the characters really? climbing a gold pile with a duck skeleton on top of it. And I was oh. really bummed out. <laughs> I, I couldn't get that. that. One. Yeah, that, yeah, that sounds yeah. really good. <laughs> do, 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 do. But hey, 